man. Why would you not? I guess. Like, listen. My man, my man's showing off the Sharingan right now. I, listen, boy. Juice, the number one player in Philadelphia, coming out to play with the ZSS right now against this Roy right here. All right. Just, I feel like Roy has the tools he needs in order to fight Zero Suit. Like, oh, I absolutely think so. Yes. Like this is gonna be a heavy boxing match. But uh, just a little, a, a little nice. Yeah, he's, of he's course. Got, he's Ju moving a little. So Juice, is, not only does he have pretty strong fundamentals, but he also knows when he just needs to play it safe, just get his confirm and call it a day, or when he gets the style, get very creative with his play. And I feel like his his group of characters, besides Zero Suit, also rocking the Falco, like it lets him get really creative. It lets him like figure out how his opponents want to play, and he has that maneuverability with these characters that lets him like figure out how he's going to shut down the stronger aspects of his opponents. Right now, Easy just being sent onto the platform, trying to find something right here. And there's that side becoming out from Juice right now. And Juice just really able to take it to him right now. And we're going to see a forward throw coming out. Side be not connected, but there's an up smash, and that's absolutely going to kill at that percentage. So Juice sitting with the lead. I'm curious to see what Easy does in order to sort of like break the mold here. As far as like matchups are concerned, Roy, once he gets in, he gets his hits, he needs to hold the ledge. That's the hard part. Not just against Zero Suit, but against Juice. So getting his kills, I feel like, is going to be a lot more based off of like neutral interactions, how he breaks away into like a confirm into combo. There's an up in neutral. I actually don't mind that move in neutral. Really? Yeah, no, I think that move is actually a pretty nice mix-up in neutral at times, especially when on a stage like Pokemon Stadium where that platform is right under, where, right above you, where you can land on that safely. If it's something like FD, don't do it. I think that platform makes it a little bit okay, but there's that up B, there's that kick, and that's an absolute death, and juice a whole stock ahead now. Ooh, neutral air water. He keeps on going for like these little things, but like Juice's DI is fantastic out of these. And the little hits that he's getting, he's making count so hard. And I feel like no matter what character you fight, that's how you have to deal with Roy. Like, once he gets in, you know he's gonna hit you hard. So make your interactions really count. Extend those combos, get him off stage. Because his ledge play isn't, it leaves a lot to be desired. Absolutely. Right here, Juice landing with the down air. Grab coming out, back throw, grabbing to ledge, side B missing. Both players are shielding attacks from each other. Down smash also getting shielded. And there's that dash attack, but the sour spot. He's just get able to get back right here. Man, both characters trading blows back and forth. Just missing. Missing the reads also. It just won't need that much more to end it though, really. Ooh, and that's okay. gonna do it. Oh, oh no. missing it. Wow. Alright, never mind. Okay, no, no, no. Good pick up, good, good pick up. I uh, I said he missed it. I'm now gonna say that was planned. I'm just gonna say that Juice meant to do that. All according to Kick Hawker. Yeah, no. Try to good. We we Gucci. Nah. But Juice taking that game 1-0 now. And like, if you're this Roy now, what do you have to do in this situation? Like, Juice is just doing such a good job of spacing him out. Because the entire gameplay of Roy compared to someone like Krom, his Echo, is the fact that Roy now has to focus on spacing his opponent. Like, these sweet spots are what he needs. He needs to stay closer. But Juice is able to keep his distance so well and only going in when he knows he has it, when he has that opportunity. What do you have to do now if you're this Roy where you can't get in? I feel like this option to bring us over to Final Destination is actually like really smart. Keep the platforms away, make it like a fairly smaller blast, uh, base platform to fight on. It's just less room for Juice to be able to safely space a lot of his tools. We saw that side B and neutral were getting a ton of traction, as well as the Zare in game one. And now as he, he has to cover just a little bit less space when he's trying to break zone, and immediately we can see a difference as far as the damage is being laid out. There already is the first kill, that little Epto right there. Just a little, a little nice. A little nice, a little powerful right there. But Juice already on the offensive. Doesn't want to be down for this one stock for too long right here. But now, right now, he's just doing a pretty good job of taking it to Juice a little bit. Able to get in a little more. And there's that side B coming out. Not snapping to ledge. And that's going to do it. Little too afraid, saw Juice coming out for him, wanted to get that up in time, but it's just a little too early there. If you're pulling a stock lead in this kind of a matchup, you need to just take full advantage of it. Both of these characters can just go off once they've got the momentum. Their combo games are crazy, their kill potential's right there. It's just a matter of making sure that your opponent doesn't 
have that opportunity to present a counter offensive. Both are trading blows. Juice finally able to get something in, sending it to the other side, but Easy coming right back. Not able to get that uh, capitalization on that missed tether there. Yo, this Zare to jab is actually kind of nice for Juice. Every time he's done it, he can't be punished for it. Not at all. Not with a character like Roy, you can't, you can't punish that. Like, there's no option that's fast enough. He's just catching hands. There's that Saibi once again sending Roy far off, and there's that Zare. Too low, my dude. Too low, and Juice one stock ahead once again in this game, too. I feel like Izzy can be doing a better job of holding on to his jumps once he's off stage because that's what Juice is looking for. He's looking for Roy to try to get a little bit higher because he doesn't have that great of vertical recovery. I feel like he's using it a lot as soon as he gets the chance. He gets sent into that blast zone and as soon as again he's using that jump to not get too low with Roy. But right now, Easy also taking the last, taking the second stock off Juice and we're at a 1-1 game right here. We are, but I feel like Juice has a better understanding of what he needs to do in the matchup than Easy does. Like we've constantly seen just very basic boxing push to the ledge and then Juice goes to town once we're on the ledge. That's where a lot of this damage has been building up. That's where a lot of these kills have been built up for Zero Suit. But Easy playing at the ledge himself, he's not doing too bad. It's just a matter of like, how well can he like respond to Juice and then again, if he could just play a bit better defensively speaking when he's trying to return to the stage, get his landings better on point, his return to the ledge, not linear. We might have an even more even game on our hands, but I feel like Juice is going to be able to run away with this. And that's going to actually do it right there. The down smash into the up B, absolutely going to kill off in that top right corner. And Juice taking it 2-0. The Hidden League Village has taught him well, my friends. Hey, you, you laugh, but my boy, my boy's been training a little bit. Yo, what rank of ninja do you think he is? Oh, he's a Genie. Okay. He's easily a Genie. You were very confident in that one, so I'm going to take your word for uh, it. You, I'm guessing, do you, do you know the ranks? Not all of them, now. Which ones do you know? Uh... Game three right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, listen, man, I'm here for a gaming convention, not an anime convention. <laughs> hey, well, basically, at this day and age, they're both. Uh, you're not wrong. Oh, Juice out of the gates with the up smash, just running up and doing it to him. Okay. It works, it works. And Easy trying to just find something here. Again, the first sweet spot of the first fair, but getting the sour spot of the second. Not able to capitalize with that down tilt, though. That's, that's good right there. Just pressuring uh, Juice a little bit to just keep trying to punish and keep playing that defensive game, waiting for these punishes. When it comes time to swing, it's very clear that Easy knows what he needs to do with Roy. However, one thing I feel like he's not doing properly is choosing which tools to approach with. We've seen him go for either down tilt or jab when he's trying to like get that hit, like get things started. But he keeps on down tilting when Juice is in the air and jabbing when Juice is just too far away. Like, it's a type of cognizance you need to have on like what tools your character has that work, but for what situations. That's, I feel like, what makes the difference of a good player and a great player. It's one thing to know that Roy can get tons of follow-ups off his jab. It's another thing to know that your jab's not reaching that far. You know what's reaching far is that down smash. But do you know what's not killing that easily? That up B. Yeah. It, hey, it, this ain't Smash 4. This is ultimate, and it's still a kill move, but it ain't that much of a kill move. And right now, Easy just trying to find something, but Juice finding that up smash, and Juice taking the one stock lead, as we've seen with most of these games right now. Juice taking that first stock commanding lead here, and we're seeing now Easy has to play that offensive. He's forced to play that offensive to try and come back into this, and Juice is just constantly taking advantage of that. He knows that Easy has to be the one to approach here, and right now, Easy finally able to get some sort of grab, but getting a foe with the off of this. Sending him to the other side of the stage, getting that up B, and that's gonna take the stock in game in the first stock of this game here, game three. All right, I feel like Easy starting to learn a little bit just from how Juice is playing, because like we haven't seen a successful up B out of Shield from Juice uh, from Easy at all yet. Juice has been netting them left and right. Oh, the reverse nair! I like that reverse nair coming Ooh. out right there. Juice able to get back with the flip kick. That aerial not gonna kill just yet, but that will do it because he used yeah. the jump early. It's what we've been saying. He's been using that jump very early, and Juice has been able to super easily punish that. It's basically like the second Roy gets off stage, Easy's having way too much trouble. That it's just it's just Juice's game at this point. 
when it comes to playing players deeper in bracket that like higher top level competitors aren't used to seeing, they look for that panic jump. That panic jump is like a cardinal sin in playing Smash at a high level. And it's such a surefire way of knowing, like you can throw your opponent off balance, and then you can get it a much simpler kill. Like, we know that Juice is very effective at playing off stage, and we've seen colors of that in this set, but he hasn't had to commit to anything bold. He hasn't had to go for anything, like, really crazy, just because it's easy is giving him situation after situation where he's able to net those kills, but easy is staying in the running as we get down to our last stocks. That bear was good one good to take the second stock here. Juice in his final stock, and Easy finally able to get some offense in. But here comes Juice with the offense now, pressuring Easy a lot with these stairs right here, forcing him to stay in shield. Because what else can Roy do at this point? He needs the spacing. Juice sent off stage, flip kick, getting back to center stage. The Zare once again trying to look for the roll in on that down smash. Easy getting the grab, forward throw coming out, getting the down tilt. No follow-up, though. I like that Juice is trying to pay, play a bit more passively. You see him going for not just the Zares, which he's been spacing really well this entire set, but full range Zares. He doesn't want any opportunity for victory to slip through his fingers as he grips it with a 3-0 over easy. And right now, Juice with that commanding 3-0 over easy will be moving on in bracket and just the number one player in Philly, man, and it's for a reason. Shows him his play. Do you think that Zeus is suggesting he's main, been mainly playing Falco recently? No. That's basically become his secondary now. I actually think they're very similar characters. I think so. No, I completely agree with you on that, and I don't think a lot of people do. It's a lot of moves that just come together and just chain a little bit to get a nice little percentage, right, play a little right. patiently instead of being super aggressive, and I think that's where Juice strives. That patient game is really what makes him such an amazing player to watch.